Hello everyone. Today I am going to tell how to solve this problem. A committee of seven has to be formed from nine boys and four girls. In how many ways can this be done? When the committee consists of, the first one is exactly three girls. The second one is at least three girls. And third one is at most three girls. Before going to do this problem, I am just going to tell how to do these type of problems with a small example. Here in this problem, we have to find the combinations. Why? Because if you see here, generally, if you see any in any problems, uh, selecting committee members, cricket players, leaders, president, vice president, etc. These type of problems, you have to find combinations only. Because if you see this example, you will understand if there are three girls, Ritu, Meena and Janu. And out of these three girls, you have to select any two members as committee members. Right? So the number of ways here are Either you can select Ritu, Meena and uh, Ritu, Janu or Meena and Janu. So you can select like this. So there are three combinations here. If you select once you select Ritu, Meena, you should not select again Meena and Ritu. Either you can write uh, Ritu, Meena or Meena, Ritu, but you should not select two combinations here. So if you see this example, then you will easily understand. Only here there are three combinations. So that is 3C2 out of 3 girls you have to select two uh, committee members so 3c2 that is 3 factorial by 2 factorial into 3 minus 2 factorial that is 1 factorial so here it is 3 so that there are three combinations only that's why you have to use only a combinations method here and if you see this example then you will understand why we use permutations uh, if you uh, find the number of ways by using the digits for example, if there are three digits, one, two, three, you have to write the number of ways, uh, any two digit number like this, one, two, that is 12, 13, one, three, and uh, two, one, two, three, and three, one, three, two. So here, 12, 13, 21, 23, 31, 32, there is a meaning here because 12 is different with 21. But in the previous case, if you select Ritu Mena, it is... Uh, there is no difference if you select Ritu Meena or Meena Ritu. But here, there is a difference. 12 is different with 21. So, by doing these type of problems, then you have to find permutations. So, here it is 3P2. Out of 3 numbers, you have to select uh, 2. So, 3P2, that is 3 factorial by 3 minus 2 factorial. That is 1 factorial. So, that is 3 into 2, 6. So, here it is 6. But in the previous case, it is 3. So, this is the difference between these two type of problems. So, while doing these type of problems, you have to understand whether you have to find combinations or permutations. Now, moving to the problem. Here, you have to select seven committee members out of nine boys and four girls. Here, there are three conditions are given. So, for each condition, you have to find the number of ways you have to select the committee members. The first one is exactly three girls. So out of seven committee members, exactly three girls should be there. So if you select three girls, the remaining seven minus three, total seven committee members, so seven minus three girls, then that is four. So the remaining are four boys. So here three girls and four boys, total seven committee members. And again, if you see there are four girls, so you have to select only three girls. So out of four girls, you have to choose three girls means 4C, that is 4C3. And out of 9 boys, you have to select only 4 boys. So, 9C4. So, if you multiply 4C3 into 9, 9C4, then you will get the total number of ways to select the committee members. So, if you calculate this here, then you will get 504 in the first case. This is second case. In this case, you have to find the number of ways by choosing the committee members. In those committee members, at least three girls should be there. So, at least three girls means uh, there should be minimum three girls or more than three girls. If you see here, here at least means minimum three or more than three. Those can be four, five, six, seven, etc. And at most means maximum three girls. So, either 0 or 1 or 2, maximum 3. This is the difference between at least and at most. And if you see here, here at least 3 girls. 
So at least three girls and there are only four girls. So here there are two cases. Either you can choose three girls or four girls because maximum are four girls only. So here if you choose three girls, then the remaining seven minus three, that is four boys. So this value we have already calculated in the first case. So that is 504. Mm -hmm. And in the second case, four girls. If you choose four girls, so out of four girls, four C4, you have to choose four, so four C4. And uh, remaining seven minus four, that is uh, three, three boys. So here out of nine boys, you have to choose three boys, so nine C3. So if you multiply these two combinations, then you will get the number of ways for choosing four girls. So here that is four C4 into nine C3, that is equal to 84. And for three girls, it is 504. And for four girls, it is 84. If you add these two values, then you will get the total number of ways in the second case, that is 588. This is third case. In this case, you have to find the number of ways to arrange the committee members. In those committee members, there should be at most three girls. That means there can be zero or one or two or three girls. So maximum three girls should be there. So here there are only four girls. So you have to use up to three. So either zero or one or two or three girls. So in each case, you have to find the combinations and then you have to add all those combinations. Then you will get the total number of combinations. So if you see here girls, there are four girls and total number of boys are nine. And here you can use First case, uh, there can be zero girls, so no girls, then the boys are seven because the total number of committee members are seven. So if the girls are zero, so then the boys are seven. So in this case, the combinations here are out of four girls, zero girls, so four C zero into nine C seven. In the second case, if the girls are only one, only one girl, then the boys are 7 minus 1, that is 6. So that is 4C1 into 9C6. In the third case, if the girls are 2, then the boys are 7 minus 2, that is 5. So 4C2 into 9C5. Next case, 4C3 into 9C4. So here only at most 3 girls. So you have to uh, use uh, maximum 3 girls. So up to here, you have to write. So once you calculate all these combinations, then you have to add all these combinations. So the total number of ways here is, if you add here, here 4C0 into 9C7 plus 4C1 into 9C6 plus 4C2 into 9C5 plus 4C3 into 9C4. If you solve this, then you will get total number is 1632. So this is in the third case. Now, please do these practice questions. These are the answers.